Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Gem Goddess Quita, or you could call me Quita, either one would do, I answer to both. If you hear noise in the background, it is my AC where I am living at. It gets 110, degree, 110 degrees outside, so honey, I need my AC, so you're going to have to bear with the AC sound, the fan sound in the background, it is the AC. Honey, like I told you, it gets 110 degrees here. Nobody ain't trying to be sweating doing reading. Seriously. <laughs> so, just bear with me, hun. Okay? Thank you. And I do, um, anybody that need anything from me, I know I haven't been posting anything in my description box below, but you can email me and you can leave a comment below. Um, if you guys want, like, specific things. I do everything. I do, um, cleansings, um, which is bath cleansings. I do uh, cleanse candle. I do everything. Whatever you can think of, whatever problem you're having, we can um, uh, meet in the uh, email or in the comments, and I give you my email so that you can email me, and we can discuss what you may need. Okay, like I said, all my readings are um, all my prices and stuff is in the other description video. I'll put it in the description box because this is getting. A little redundant I keep having to revamp because of um, different situations that's going on I keep ascending and God keeps put place in me different places while I'm trying to fulfill my dream I love being a tarot reading I love um, doing oracle readings and things like that and channel messages so um, yeah we just want to get into this reading okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so here we have um, someone who is broken hearted and they try to balance out their broken heart they have cornucopia around them so you guys have plenty of wealth and opportunities whoever i'm reading for your heart is broken you come out of the cycle of heart of being um broken hearted into um balance and in, into um this season of balance you do have money and wealth in all areas of your life and you do have a lot of um opportunities and possibilities um because healing is happening in this seasoning in the seasoning <laughs> in this season <laughs> lord in this season healing is happening so you don't have to boost um angel saying um excuse me spirit is saying that you need to um boost your second chakra which is your um sacral chakra which is a lot to do with your confidence um somebody is working on moon cycles here it's a woman because this is outside energy. Um, this woman, she's a wealthy woman. And she is doing spell work on moon cycles. So let's see what this spell work is. What kind of spell work is this woman doing, spirit? What kind of spell work? And she is a um, female on physically, biologically, she's a female. Um, she's doing... Um, she's doing... Uh, what I'm getting here because the deck I'm the deck I'm reading from is a little different from the normal tarot deck, which is the um what is it? The Chrysolitis tarot deck. I love it, it's beautiful. What I'm getting here is that this woman is doing um spell work with different moon cycles on your happiness and on temperance. Like on you being balanced, everything being balanced in your life. She is doing this. Is this person? Yeah, I was just making sure this woman is doing this against you. Um, she's working on your happy happiness and your temperance. Like you being optimistic, you being happy. She is working, she's doing um, moon magic on your happiness, on your temperance. Um, let's see what the zodiac sign of this person is. What the sun zodiac sign of this person that's doing spell work on my collective happiness and temperance. What's the sun zodiac sign of this woman? She could be a Virgo. That's what I know, could be. And I hate when I say that, but this woman is a Virgo sun. So just be careful with that. Her 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 moon her Virgo is in um her sun sign is in Virgo. So yeah, this lady is doing that kind of um 
and we have people who do ill stuff against people and she's one of them this her sun sign is a virgo so just take that in consideration if you know a virgo woman and you having problems with being happy um I'm just writing something down, so you guys just give me a minute, cause I know somebody with a Virgo moon. I mean Virgo sun. I'm sorry. I know two people with a Virgo sun. Okay, so yeah, she's doing um whoever this Virgo sun person is, and I asked some specific messages, so that's why I'm so confident. Cause spirit, they they give me what I asked for. Um, yeah. This person is doing um, moon magic on your happiness and on your um, temperance, like your balance, you know, in life. So just be aware of that. That's a little vibrational stuff, you know. Go in and transmute. You guys know how I preach on my channel about that kind of negative energy, energetic work. If she doesn't change her um, thing, what she's doing, because the thing is, when you're doing something to get someone else and it's affecting their lives, we're going to know because, like, you're, you're putting out the negative energy towards someone else. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to know. And it's not like we're prying into your privacy because you're wishing ill on someone else. So, honey, we see I you. We, um, I'm, I'm doing a reading, hon. Hey. Excuse me, I'm doing a reading. I'm doing a reading. You're going to have to be quiet. Thank you. Sorry, you guys, about that. So when you're doing this negative energetic work, against someone else honey we know we know because it's, it's it's affecting people lives it's affecting their energy so so oh mind your business no because that's what i'm picking up she's saying mind her business mind my business but i am minding my business by helping my collective to ascend so if you're doing this negative energy energetic work against my collective i'm calling you out hun it's a virgo sun um, so if you know a Virgo sun and you have problems with being optimistic and you have problems with, with temperance in your life, know this Virgo sun person is doing, and she's a woman, is doing this um, moon cycles on your um, happiness and on your temperance. Okay, let's see what else we can pick up here. We don't want to get out that nasty energy. We know how to deal with that kind of energy. So just go with it and transmute that energy and send, you can either send it back or transmute it. It ain't even worth sending it back. That's free energy. I would just transmute it and make it into something beautiful for me. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> Unless they need to be taught a lesson. Like, hey, here go your energy back. This is what you, you sent over here. Here you go, politely. That's yours. Bye-bye. <laughs> I like being in my lighthearted, light energy. So, bye, boo. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was yours. I just returned it back. <laughs> Nicely. Yeah, um, this is a very, very beautiful relationship that um this person is gonna have. That's why she's doing this uh energetic work, negative energetic work on this negative moon energetic work on you is because she knows you have a beautiful relationship coming to you and she wants you to view this your partner um in a very negative, like low vibrational light. Yeah. Uh, she wants you to be in this five of cups energy over her girl bye <laughs> girl bye yes yeah, she wants you to be in this low vibrational energy she wants you to see this person as like some kind of low low vibrational magician and you know who this person is to you so yeah this person is a beautiful person that you are in love with um she or he may be an artist of some kind I'm getting a painter or some kind of artist. Um, and this this is a beautiful cycle because um, this woman, what I'm seeing, she has a beautiful mind, beautiful psyche, and she's solid. She may be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, yeah, because I have the Ace of Stones here, which is the Ace of Pentacles, and I have the Queen of Stones, which is the Queen of Pentacles, which is very earthy. Um, yeah, this, this is gonna come, um, very unexpectedly in cycles. This thing is gonna spiral. That's what I'm seeing. Cause I got the four spirals here and spirit saying that this home, I don't know. It, it looks creepy, but the, the trees look creepy, but it's not, it's like some little 
yeah it's like a little cottage in the woods i'm picking up oh my god this is very beautiful energy oh my gosh and then the spirals just kept coming out you guys i have the four spirals the seven of spirals and then the six of spirals which is telling me and then seven of spirals a bear is here this is very beautiful energy this is going to come fast and then this 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 is going to be very beautiful because I, I i don't know about you but i love to be off it like nobody know that i exist until i come out I'm like oh yeah i forgot you exist <laughs> that's my kind of energy at this point <laughs> i don't know out of sight out of mind is what i'm thinking here and that's what you want to be out of sight out of mind and that's what's going to happen spirit is going to shield you and yeah you're going to be shielded and you're going to be taken care of. Spirit is watching over you. They're watching you. Somebody's admiring you. Oh my God, this is so cute. Yes. Yes. Balance is going to be here regardless of what she messed with. Somebody tempers and happiness. You're still going to have your balance. You're still going to have your justice, hun. That little Virgo person, woman that Virgo sun woman, she needs to sit down somewhere and turn around and wrench it off and repent. But that's what my, one of my ex's mom used to say, turn around and wrench it off. <laughs> yeah, she needs to turn around and wrench her attitude off. Just repent, honey. Just stop. Love yourself. Because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't be doing this negative energy work to someone that's not bothering you. <laughs> if it bothers you for someone to be happy, then you got to understand that there's something within yourself that's making you unhappy so you can try to make somebody else unhappy. I'm going to need you to go figure that out. Therapist, whatever you need to do besides hurt another human being, I'm going to need you to go figure that out, honey. <laughs> deal with that issue, honey. Please deal with that issue. Please deal with that issue. Because when you bleed on someone that has done nothing to you or that you had a cycle with and that cycle is over and you're still bleeding... Honey, that's on you to heal. Nobody can heal that but you. You can go ask for help. And there's so much things out here you can do to heal yourself and to get um get healing from someone else or go to a therapist and work that out. But ultimately, it's your decision. And if you decide not to do that, then that's okay too. But when you're projecting this negative energy work, this negative energetic work on someone else, that is becomes a problem. That's when spirit comes in and say, hey. I need you to do this for me because this person don't get it. <laughs> and if I have to deal with something that spirit told me to deal with, I'm going to do it. You know why? Because I'm the most high's yes child and you shouldn't be attacking my collective period. God gives us chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. When are you going to get the hint, honey? When? Anywho, that was a little side note from Spirit talking to this Virgo woman um, sun sign. Just stop. <laughs> we are waking up, so just stop. We see you. Bye. I hope my collective, um, I hope this helps and help you see what's going on with your life because, yeah, we do have people like that. <laughs> Bye, boo.